What is going on everybody and welcome to Sponge Plugin Programming. This is just going to be the setup video for our IntelliJ environment so we can actually begin creating plugins for Sponge whenever that comes out. So let's go ahead and get started. In IntelliJ here, click Create New Project. And once this comes up, you want to make a new Gradle project. And you want to click this Use Auto Import checkbox. And make sure your project SDK is set up correctly as well as your Gradle JVM. And once that's all correctly set up, go ahead and click Next. Then in here, just give your plugin a name. I'm just going to call this YT Sponge Plugin. Finish. And once this comes up, double click on the project. And if everything worked out right, you should get this build.gradle file. Double click that, should open up, and just delete everything that's currently in there. Now I'm just going to copy and paste a piece of code here. This code will be in the description below. This is just going to load the API using Gradle so we can use it in our plugin. So once that's done, make sure it's saved. And if we go to our external libraries here, you should see that all of these are now uh, loaded, including this sponge API here. Now what we can do once that's done, we can actually go ahead and test this out, at least to make sure that it was implemented or imported correctly. So right click the name of your project, do new directory. I want to create a source directory. Press OK. Right click this newly created source directory, spelled SRC. Then mark directory as sources root. And then in this source folder, we'll have all of our source code for our plugin. So once you got that done, right click it again and do new package. Go ahead, call this package whatever you want. And I'm just going to call it com.erogitic.main. And again, this can be called whatever you want. Right click it again, do new Java class, and make this Java class the same name as your project. So YT Sponge Plugin in my case. Press OK or Enter. And once this comes up, we just want to import a few things here. First one being just to test this out import org.spongepowered.api.plugin.plugin. Spelled exactly like that, which is a lowercase plugin than the capital plugin. And now, in order to actually initialize this plugin and make it work with Sponge, we need to put a, an at interface above this public class here. And this is at plugin. And it's going to take in a few arguments, the first one being the ID of our plugin. I'm just going to set this equal to UT or YT Sponge Plugin. Next up, the name of our plugin. Name is going to equal YT Sponge Plugin. And lastly, the version of this plugin. And I'm just going to start it at 1.0. Now, once that's done, your plugin is now set up and we can start doing some stuff with this. We want to have two events here. We want an event that's going to be called whenever the server is started. Another one whenever the server is stopping. So we can do whatever we need to do during those two events. So in order to actually make an event, we need to add something called at subscribe like so. And if this pops up, press enter so it automatically imports it. Otherwise, press alt enter to get a list of possible imports. And what this is going to do is any method below this at subscribe line is going to be an event handler. So what we want below this is public void on server start. And this is going to take in one argument, which is the server started event. We're just going to call this event. And then opening closing braces. And if this is not automatically imported, do alt enter and it'll automatically import it for you. Now again, this at subscribe is going to make whatever method is below this, in this case is on server start, it's going to make that an event handler. So after that, we want to do another at subscribe. And we want to create another event handler. In this case, we want an event that's going to handle the server stopping event. So public void on server stop. And the event is going to be called server stopping event. So we want to do whatever we need to do while it's stopping and not when it's stopped. So again, we're going to just call this event and opening closing brace, then alt enter again. Now right there, that is the basic skeleton of 
any sponge plugin that you'll be creating and we will be coming back to this but it won't be for quite a while because the server software has not yet been released once it is released i will begin setting up some videos so we can actually create our own sponge plugin but anyways that is going to conclude this part if you have any questions comments please leave them in the comments below and i will be more than happy to help you out or answer them or whatever i need to do anyways thank you all so much for watching and i hope to see you next time